All right, this time I'm going to integrate the FAST program with our Ranger file manager. And FAST is actually a program I use every day and I, I like it a lot. Uh, if you don't know what it is, I'll link you in the description. I talked about that a long time ago. But basically, it's the way to jump to files or folders that you've been through a lot or you open a lot and it'll recognize it. Like, uh, and I'll do like a ranking and then uh, you just type a few letters or, and it'll jump through it. So let me demonstrate that out here. Um, I have my um, alias to Z. And if you ever use like auto jump Z or V or something like that, those ones can, I think it can only do like directories. This one can actually do directories and files, okay? But right now we're just um, doing directories because you can see in this alias, it goes fast and um, dash D for directories only. So let's say if I want to jump to my uh, Let's say my Xbox folder. I type Xbox and look at that. It jumps to uh, that folder because it knows that I've been to that folder before. I opened it before. So it uh, remembers it, right? And it does it automatically, like when you're using your shell, like your CD commands or something like that. It recognizes it and then it saves it automatically. So now if I do the, uh, like my Wii folder, it jumps to my Wii folder because it knows that I've been through there before and it gives me a ranking so if I hit Z only right I hit enter these are the rankings here look see uh, they call these like frequency or whatever but basically it knows that I go to my Wii folder a lot and so on and so forth then uh, it knows um, where to jump to okay and this one's just for um, what was that files and, and folders so you can do both but anyways how do we integrate that into our ranger file manager uh, real simple we're gonna bust out our ranger here when I go to the commands and this one should be located in your home folder config ranger and commands py here and there's two ways to do this um, if you want to do like the the shell way or the command line way um, they have this code on their page here actually so you can go to their github page and then just copy it but basically this is the code here right and all it does is that it'll bust out the fast command and I'll do a dash D for directories only. And it's exactly like that in, in you know our uh, terminal. But you can do that in, in inside a ranger to jump around um, to do that. Now the other way, uh, this one actually uh, it, uh, if you if you watch my old video on uh, was that the uh, when we integrated using our locate command and find command, I basically just use the same code, but this time we're gonna do a fuzzy finder uh, fast here. So it's the same thing, it's just that we use the fast program and we're gonna pipe it into our fuzzy finder and you know, it'll find like, um, it'll filter out like what directory or what file we wanna use and then it'll select it with Ranger. Real simple, I'll show you both. Uh, another thing that we need to do is, um, well, I like it because it's convenient, but uh, bust out your ranger, and we're gonna, this time we're going to go map it, right? This one should be uh, your, what is that, in your config ranger RC conf file, and these two here, uh, we're just going to map it to ZZ, right, and ZO. This one is for the command line, and this one is for the fuzzy finder method. Um, so how do we use here? So for example, if I go here and I do Ranger, right? If you want to use one of the command line, you can do uh, colon, so shift and colon. And the bottom here, this is basically um, your commands that you can use. So if I type in FASD space, and then I type in, let's say I want to jump to my uh, Xbox folder, right? It'll jump to my Xbox folder. So do that again, PSD, and then I do listen my Wii folder. It'll jump to my Wii folder, so on and so forth. Now the thing with that is that um, what is that? Let's do this here. So you have to do Shift colon. That's one step, and I have to type out F A S D space. That's like five characters right there. That's a lot of steps, and that's why um, you know I told you to bind it to something else. So let's say for example, uh, what did we do before? We bind it to ZO. So all you gotta do is type in ZO two letters and then type in uh, you know whatever uh, directory or file that you want to jump to. So now if I hit ZO, look at that. 
it pre-fills it out for us uh, saves us a few steps by typing it manually so that's why you do that zio and then you know you type in like our downloads folder and it'll jump back to our downloads folder right so zio and it pre-fills it out for us and let's say i want to jump to my uh surf raw program or something or directory i mean and there you go it goes to our surf raw so on and so forth you get the idea um anything else in here so that one's for like the command line type of style right this one down here this one's like a command line type of style but if you want to use it with fuzzy finder um pretty simple too i do what was that our hotkey for this was what was that zz here right so I do ZZ and this one will show us like all our possible um, directories or files we can open. So if I want to open my Xbox, I type in Xbox and I have a few Xbox here. I can go to this one and it jumps to the Xbox. So ZZ and I go to my Wii stuff and I have a bunch of Wii stuff here. I can do the Wii soft mod or the Wii redump. So let's go soft mod. So on so forth real quick. Now the thing with this one is that it can actually do, um, it can actually do all of them. So this one's not restricted to just the dash D flag. You can do uh, was that directories and files. So um, that's why this one's a little bit better because you can do ZZ. And if I want to jump to a file or something, I do like a zip or something like that. I have a zip file in here. So let's say for example this zip file, and you see it jumps to it and it selects the zip file or where is it located at. So I do ZZ. Let's say I'm looking for a, a log file or something that I had. Right. Um, do error. And let's say this, um, you know, this um, log file in here. And look at that. It jumps to it. It selects it right there real quick. Uh, so either or, if you want to use the command line style that you're normally used to, then you can do that. Or you can use it with Fuzzy Finder and, you know, uh, you can filter it out and select it real quick um, so there you go that's how you would integrate it with Ranger uh, our file manager and you can jump around really quick no issues um, that's pretty much it for this one I'll post you everything in the description if you want to set it up with Ranger and the fast program definitely use fast too because uh, it is a good uh, shell program I use it like every day ever since I made that video a long time ago uh, still use it uh, daily. Anywho, that'd be it for this one.